Turn on the lights and let the crowds roar. The 2021 high school football season kicking off tonight around Southeast Wisconsin. So many storylines leading into the 10 week journey with new twists and turns just beginning to form. Welcome to the week one edition of the high school blitz. We start with a big one at Hart Park, a non conference matchup between Marquette and they're hosting Arrowhead. MUHS second and nine at the Arrowhead 43. Luke Navani's pass to Nick Ferge for the touchdown. 31 to 22 Arrowhead. The two point conversion no good. The next series is Charles Smith handing off to Tyler Bittman. And well, I guess that's not what happened. We have the two point conversion that doesn't go. But here is that handoff I'm talking about for the touchdown. Arrowhead comes away with a 38 to 22 win. We did it in spurts tonight. We didn't do it enough. And I tell you, if we ever put it all together, we're going to be very dangerous. You cannot play a good arrowhead team the way that we played them tonight and make as many mistakes as we did. Another non-conference tilt with Brookfield Central heading to Catholic Memorial. The Crusaders starting out with a huge play. Sophomore Corey Smith turning the corner and goes 75 yards for the touchdown. He won't be touched. Now, their next position also ending with a big play. Rory Fox airing it out to Kenny Piacek. 73 yards on this one, and Catholic Memorial looks to be rolling 14 to nothing. But with 14 seconds to go in the game, Drew Edmonds scoring his third touchdown of the game for Central. They're within two points. But the two point conversion fails and the Crusaders hold on for the 29 27 win. Brookfield East hosting Watertown and the visitors spoiling an early drive. Nathan Kell coming up and breaking up the pass deep in Watertown territory, keeping East off the board, but it doesn't last long. That's Matthew Shaminda hitting Simon Lupton for 34 yards in the score, and the Spartans jump out to a 7 0 lead. In the second, Shaminda calling his own number and getting in from a couple of yards out. East going on to win easily 35 to 7. McWanago traveling to Sussex Hamilton in the second half. Evan Herbig and Jake Adams decide, hey, let's get something going here. They connect and it's a McWanago touchdown. Adams then doing it again. He gets in and helps the Indians as he makes this one a 34 to 21 McGuanago win. We know that they're they're loading the box and, and we thought we could have some, some success if we got the ball out on the perimeter run they could put the ball in. and uh, I thought our running backs ran really hard and we did a nice job getting the ball out on the edge in the second half. It's Drake Zortman's first game as Homestead's head coach hosting Germantown the Highlanders up eight to nothing but on the ensuing kickoff it's Aaron Grant going the distance he brings it all the way back and the Warhawks are within one down eight to seven. The ground game though would start to take over for Homestead. Joe Ullman seeing that he has a hole and he finds it from four yards out. That makes it 15 to seven Homestead. Now after a defensive stop Homestead going back to Ullman and watch a muscle his way in for the touchdown Zortman a winner in his debut 32 to 14. And quite the treat at halftime in Whitefish Bay. Those are the elementary school girls from Pom Pom Camp in Whitefish Bay, coached by Rachel Ritz, entertaining the Blue Duke faithful. What a show they put on. Nora Folkrod, Celia Nelson, and Dylan Webb among the many talented girls out there this evening. And the Blue Dukes keep the Glory Cup with their 56 6 win over Shorewood Mesmer. U School at home facing Brookfield Academy. The Blue Knights up 14 13 late in the second. And it's Jonah Denson finding a wide open Malik Crawford, and the lead grows to seven after that nice play. They kick to Vidal Colon to begin the third, and well, guess what? That's a mistake. The junior bringing it all the way back and tying the game with those great moves and the speed. Brookfield Academy answering, though, with a 75 yard drive. Fourth and 11, they go for it. Jensen on the run, connecting with Colton Green for the score, and Yule School wins its opener 32 to 27. The Lightning looking to strike against St. Mary's Springs in a huge non-conference battle. Isaac Highland getting St. Mary's Springs fired up though as he comes up with a big interception early because he they string the play out and he's right there to make the big play. But after that, it is all Lake Country Lutheran. Luke Hurdle, who's had a big season last year, looks to have a big one this year. He goes 80 yards on this play. I mean, he had nobody to throw to, so he finds a hole and he takes it all the way in. The Lightning starts the season with a 45 to nothing shutout. Wow, what a run from him. Well, week one of the high school blitz is now in the books. To go through it all again, just head to our website, fox6now.com. We'll be back here for chapter two next Friday night, but more with Ben and Gabrielle right after this.